Very, very cool. Nice find. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hi, everybody. It's Kate from Katie Did, and we are back at the Yellowstone River. Actually, I'm at the spot that I uh, that I was hounding in the last video. The river has risen substantially since the last time we were up here, and I just wanted to come out, see how high it was, and also give the dog some exercise. Of course, we're going to find some rocks, so come along. Let's see what we find. One of the things I love about this area is the ruggedness of it. And I do love sandstone. It's just, it's just endlessly interesting. Kava is helping me out by gauging how deep the water is. The really, really shallower stuff is where it's really rough. And we're going to try to wade over there, I think. She's only up to her belly, so it's probably about halfway up my legs. It'll be okay. Ooh, the water's a little cold. Not very deep, though. Very rocky. It's okay, Kava. We're going. We're going. There we go. Didn't even get my pants wet. Well, they are rolled up. Good job, Kava. So this probably is literally the last time we'll be able to access this place. I suppose unless I came here tomorrow, which I won't. Um, the river rose rather precipitously. What a great word that is, huh? Um, it rose really quickly overnight. And so I think our spring rise is on the way. And so I'm thankful to be able to come here and enjoy the river one more time. Well, apparently we're probably not going to get over to that island. There is a kind of an inlet here and I had thought we could go like out and around and I probably could, but it's just a little deeper than I wanted to deal with, especially with that current the way it is. I don't really want to take a dunking today. So I think what we're going to do is go back to the other island over there, see if there's anything worth finding, then head up the hills and look there. Well, I made it back over to this little island and uh, I wanted to show you something. I was hoping that I would be able to wade in the water and maybe just look at the, the water covered rocks. But as you can see, there is a substantial amount of silt in the water because the water is coming in pretty fast. And so that particular little plan probably isn't going to work. That's kind of a cool orange jasper. Yeah, we'll bring it along just in case we don't find anything else. One thing I can always count on for this place is agatized wood. That's pretty mucky, but I'll clean it off and you'll see how beautiful it is. More petrified wood. This one's cool, it looks like a piece of driftwood. Agatized wood. Well, since we can't really make it out to the island, I'm going to take this piece of agatized wood that I left behind on our last trip here because it was too heavy. It's got some really cool. Um, some cool lines in it, and I think it's going to be really pretty.
these hills are absolutely full of cobbles, these big bouldery kind of things. The Flaxfield gravel extends for 150 miles. And so all of these hills are just full of gravel, which is why Montana agate hunting is so popular and why it's relatively easy to find something. Hunters use this land in the fall and there are four wheel tracks that go all the way to the gate. But we're gonna take kind of a roundabout route. These are what are called silver sage. Silver sage is all over this area and it smells just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to walk among it and pretend I'm a giant in a forest. I saw this little guy poking out of the ground, about that much was showing. And I noticed this kind of, this shiny white opal looking stuff on top of yellow. And this is really common in the hills. You'll find that the, the chalcedony has weathered and turned white. And so that's one way you can find agates in the hills. The problem, of course, with relying on the opalization is that other rocks that have a high content of chalcedony also do this. And so this one is probably just a milk agate. It's really hard to tell because it has so much on the outside. However, there is this pretty little thing that I'm going to take home with me. One really nice thing about hunting in the hills is that the rocks are not covered with silt, so they're pretty easy to spot. This one is, of course, a piece of petrified wood. I don't know what this one is, but I like the purpley color. So I'm going to bring it. This looks like it's probably Jasper, but I don't know. I like the purple color. Does anybody know for sure what it is? That one didn't even need to get squirted off. It was just shining red. Look at how beautiful that Jasper is. So pretty. Look. Uh-oh. Wake up, little bottle. <laughs> My squirt bottle is going, oh, I'm too tired. Okay, fine. It needs batteries. <laughs> I forgot to change them. Anyway, look at this cool piece of petrified wood, agatized wood. Look at how the, uh, the wood has broken after it's become petrified so that it has these cool ridges. That is really, really cool. This is not an agate, I don't think. What it is, is, well, gosh, look at that. This is kind of chert on the outside here, and this is quartz. Even it's got some druzy quartz crystal in the very, very center. Gosh, that is just beautiful. Nice. It's a very nice find. It might be a treasure state agate. I'm really bad at identifying TSAs because they're sort of, they're sort of undefined, but it does have these fortifications in it. And that looks like it goes all the way through. Very, very cool. Nice find.
and just about oh four feet away on the ground this is a montana oh montana agate i love the the vug here we'll get that cleaned off it's kind of gross um but it's got this really it's got this really cool vug it's got dendrites all the way through it that is a nice find how lucky am i that is really beautiful I think this might be another agate. <laughs> or it could be double stone. Let's see. Oh, that's an agate, all right. You know, uh, there's a book by Tom Harmon called The River Runs North. And he talks about how the people in this, ouch, oh, that's cactus. The people in this area used to break these open just to kind of see what the pictures were inside. They, they didn't have any saws or anything like that, but both Native Americans and settlers used to break agates. Uh, that's why you'll find in the hills all these broken agates. I used to think it was like people just not, not knowing what they were doing, but anyway, cool beans. So this red jasper just really sticks out in the hillside and it's really hard and it polishes beautifully and it's very pretty. I literally just gasped when I saw this. I think this is actually a piece of Wonderstone. Wonderstone is this really incredible rhyolite that is, is, found, in, uh, is found over by Bozeman and we tried to go get some and <laughs> couldn't find the pile. But look at this piece. Oh my gosh, that is just so amazing. And it's super hard, so again, just like Jasper and Agate, it polishes beautifully. Oh, look at those lines. That is really special. This looks very interesting. <laughs> It's a little bigger than I thought it was. Wow. It's a piece of, of kind of gray-blue agate, I guess. It's pretty though. Really pretty tumbled. Okay, this is very cool. I don't know what they're doing here, but this pit is dug like way, way down deep. And if you look really carefully, you can see the layers of gravel that go down. Looks like it's about 10 feet deep here. Now the gravel itself actually goes farther than that. It goes as much as 150 feet deep in some places. But uh, that's why I'm never too concerned about giving out locations on the Yellowstone River. <laughs> because there's lots for everybody. This is a cool little nodule filled with, I don't know, common opal maybe? It's got agate around the outside. Definitely part of a limb cast. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. Subscribing helps our channel grow and just kind of make sure you don't miss anything. Thanks. Wow, that was so much fun. See, we don't need the river in order to find beautiful rocks. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I definitely did. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. That helps. Mm, nope, the subscribe button's over here. If you haven't subscribed button. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs>